Hello, friends, and welcome. Thank you for... Oh, okay. Thank you for joining me today for some terroir, Vanilla Hills. My name is Sean, and when we left off, it was November 2035. I guess we were just about to crush our grapes. And the game is like, crush these grapes! Don't make me sit here waiting. So our Chardonnay is at uh, uh, 8 sweetness, so um, we might want to get that down. Oh, wait, I didn't... we're looking at increasing the tannins. All right, that's fine. There's really no choice, so... Not so sure how the Syrah is going to be. Uh, I do want to say thanks to... Boy, so many people have been leaving comments and, and watching these videos. Thank you so much for everybody who's been watching and leaving comments. Got quite a list of names of people to uh, name the wines after. People have been giving me real good uh, suggestions on... Uh, you know, like I should be using white bottles for white wine and, and so forth. Uh, so uh, keep that stuff coming. I don't really know enough about wine. Like, I knew that Chardonnay is a white wine. I'm not sure. I'm guessing Syrah is a red wine? Like, I guess I could look at the picture of the grapes, right? I think that would, you know what I mean? Like, they will match up. Um, uh, but anyway, so let's focus on this. Okay, we're going to decrease sweetness by one. Um, I think we want to decrease sweetness by two. Let me get out my little cheat sheet here. So Chardonnay... Although we had a Chardonnay with an 8 sweetness that was really successful. So really decreasing sweetness is not that important. Um, whereas our uh, Syrah, we had a very unsweet one. So you know what, let's try a uh, higher sweetness on this one as well. I set these for less than a month. I don't know why it looks like it's going to take forever to get this stuff uh, done. Um, yeah, can I, uh, I cannot look at those grapes. I know I can probably zoom in and look at them when they actually start growing. I'm not sure if you see the uh, picture of them or anything. That's okay. All right, we've got that fermentation done. Don't really want to increase the acidity of our Chardonnay. We'll go ahead and increase the acidity of our Syrah by one. Again, I don't really know what to expect. I know that a 5555 blend was not very popular. But it was more popular than the whatever we did that for our final, our last one was like three, four, two, five, or something like that. I didn't even write it down because it was so terrible. But I should have written it down so I would know what a bad one is. But, uh, you know, whatever. Live and learn. All right, so uh, French oak for this one. Probably go two months, maybe. Syrah. I'm going to go French oak. And I don't think I'm going to leave this one in there very long at all. As a matter of fact... Would I even want to pull it, maybe pull it out already? Oh, that's just so much easier. Thank you so much to whoever. I know somebody left me a comment that you can click and drag on the uh, barrels. And, and Well, they said reviewers, but it works on the barrels too. That is so much easier. All right. So now does the age, I guess the age would bring out the additional flavors, but I kind of like these ratios. I think we're going to go ahead and bottle this like it is without even any aging. So I believe a Syrah is a red wine. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and this is going to be the Neon Bean Blend 2036. And we'll put a cork on it. And we will bottle it up. Great. Now, um, wait a minute. Why do we still have this one sitting around? Let's organize tasting for this one here. And once again, oh, so much easier. All right. So we don't know what it is going to be like. Somebody else suggested that I should not use the highest prestige people for blends that I don't know whether they're going to be successful or not. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to use one of these level two guys, though. Oh, look at that. Five stars. Oh, I made a good gamble with that one. All right, so that is a 6676. And uh, it got uh, five stars, and I used one star reviewers. All right, so price won't be so great, but very good. So they're still sitting on 684 bottles from our previous um, uh, vintage. So let's... Uh, split these up among these two sellers here 
And somebody else is telling me that uh, uh, you get different bonuses for each of these guys being at five stars. So there's an imperative or an incentive to uh, to get them up to five stars each. Uh, so let's see how that goes. And then um, we can't really sell any more of this one. Yep, because it's still sitting there. And we have uh, this one that we're going to leave sitting for a couple of months. So let's check back in March. And we should have sold some wine and uh, hopefully be in better shape at that point. February, we're going to be planting new grapes. And of course, we're going to need to cut a bunch of vines because we don't really want these guys getting too... So can I see the... I guess they're barely going to be uh, grown, so I'm probably not going to have anything to see at this, at this point. And now it's March. Let's uh, check on our there we go, 5756. Do we have records for 5756? We do not. 5745 didn't do us so well, though. 5756. Pretty confident in our general Chardonnay results, though. Let's go ahead and bottle that up. Chardonnay is a white wine, as many people have told me. I'm going to make that a uh, cork, of course. And this will be the Red Ventru 1. Um, uh, Chardonnay 2036 and we're going to bottle that up and organized tasting now I don't really know what to expect from this one but I th think let's do one three star and a couple of two stars because I do feel pretty good about our general results with these there we go. Look at that. Four and a half stars. So I probably could have went with all the higher ranking ones, but that's okay. Uh, so Red Vintru 5756 gave us four and a half stars, and we used two star reviewers for that one. Um, so let's go ahead and sell that. So he's still working on, they're still working on selling theirs. Interesting that uh, my relations have dropped to zero, which is really unfortunate. Oh. What do we have? 3,600? There we go. So that should get us a lot of money, but we're still not really getting much renown. But we just had 3,600 bottles, so we are getting close to our cap on bottles. we got to wait a little while to, to sell more of these to Ferrer and Brothers. So we'll check back in there in April. Meanwhile, zoom out a little bit. Our plants are ripening up nicely, maybe a little too nicely. Oh, we have uh, infestation on our uh, Syrah, so let's treat those fruit flies. There we go, very good. I love being able to do that. Oh, too ripe. Let's get some rain. Time now, rain. Oh, looks like we've sold some more bottles. So let's see if we've uh, cleared out our stock. There we go. Really, you'll only buy 228. All right. It's going to be really hard to get rid of the last of these. Check back next month, I guess. I could always discard them, too. All right. Well, we need some uh, we need some rainy weather, or else we're going to be in for another bad uh, another bad batch. They're overexposed. Guess I shouldn't have trimmed all those vines quite so soon, huh? At least it's cloudy. Get rid of the rest of these down here. Good. Hopefully those will all be sold by the winter when we have our next vintage out. But might not be necessary for our next vintage if the uh, grapes stay so disgusting. Oh, you can't see white and red grapes, so... At least it's, I mean, I guess it can't get any worse than 10. 
So I was gonna say at least it's cloudy, but it doesn't mean mean anything. Yeah, that's too bad. Poor grapes. Still have a reasonable yield, but that overexposed thing is uh, is not going to be good for them. It's going to produce. Oh, we got more fruit flies down there. Let's slow it down. Um, that's going to be bad for uh, the uh, quality. Kind of tempted to just let them uh, to just discard them. I don't think these overripe grapes are going to do us any good. Was I able to manage to... I mean, I guess we may as well harvest them, right? We can't. We can always throw them away after we harvest them. There's a small cost associated with harvesting, if I remember properly. But yeah, they've both got... Okay, so these don't have... These are actually not too bad, even though they're overripe. Seems a little little strange, honestly. Um, these we'll probably just throw away. So we're going to crush those, and we'll crush those. But we might be able to make something out of the Syrah. I love how the vines are still overexposed, even though they're, everything's been harvested. Oh yeah, what are our... Uh, what are our sales? Oh, I guess we can't see at this stage. All right. Um, fermentation decreases sweetness by one. So let's decrease that sweetness considerably. Seven should be fine. And uh, I'm going to leave that like it is. Now, it's kind of annoying that you get the one... You know what I mean? Like, it's still going to take four months for the fermentation on the Syrah, even though I set it to ferment for less than a month. It would be nice if it would pop up and allow me to whatever the next stage is in that process when I have different levels set for each of these. I mean, that's not really going to be a, a big problem. Oh, hey, uh, also congratulations to uh, Bonesco, Bone S-K-H-O, I don't know how to pronounce that exactly, but uh, Bonesco um, made it to the end of the last episode and heard that I was doing a giveaway of a Steam key. So congratulations on getting a free copy of this game to play for yourself. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have fun and... and uh, uh, yeah, I hope it uh, hope it's enjoyable. Thank you so much to the developers for giving me a free copy of this to give away. I really appreciate that, as well as this free copy to uh, play. I was part of their alpha team. Gave, tried to give them some good feedback and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, real happy with how this has turned out. Pretty fun game. And it's been real good for my channel, too. Really, uh, lots of views. Most popular series that I'm running right now. If you enjoy this, check out some of my other series. Uh, okay, straight into pressing, huh? Don't even uh, don't even let me ask for it. Um, so we want to push this acidity way up. If we go to 70, and then that's to 10, and we drop it down to six which would be two months. This would I said it would drop down to five. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Syrah, I think we'll just go one on that one. Actually, what did we get from our Syrah last time? 6676 six, was a five-star rating. So you know what? Let's go for the same. Let's see if we can uh, strike gold twice or whatever the proper way to say that is. Alright, um, so this is not looking so good, but we still might be able to get a four-star vintage out of it. Um, 6756 is a four-star vintage. So, well, we can't quite manage that one. 5756. Well, we'll see what we can do. There's only, there's really no choice. Alright, so we're going to pull this, uh, pull this Syrah out. Pretty much immediately. Alright, Chardonnay. I think we'll still be able to manage to get something decent out of that, but Syrah 6676. 
should give us five stars, but we're going to use better reviewers this time, so it might not be quite as good. But it should still be pretty good. All right, so we got the doctor's drink. 2037. I don't really know if that's the appropriate use of drink, but I see people using it in the context of wine. So we'll see. Uh, see what? Uh, see if that's if you guys enjoy that. All right. Bottle that one up. Look at our bottles. Organized tasting. Let's call in the best of the best here. Oscar, Kramer, Erna, Arena. Invite to tasting. Oh, look at that. Five stars with three star reviewers. This should be a very valuable wine for us. Interesting that this extremely overexposed wine did so well, but, uh, you know, not going to complain. All right, you're waiting to sell one bottle. Give me a break. 588 for you and 252 for you. And we'll shut those down. And uh, this one we're going to let sit for a few months. So it's April. So let's check back in June. Meanwhile, got to worry about the ripeness of these grapes. So it doesn't seem to hurt to over-ripen your Syrah. We're going to want our Chardonnay to ripen up more. I don't want to go too crazy on it. Okay, what is this? Vine is suffering from fungal rock. Can I do anything to uh, treat that? I don't think I can. Keep tr trimming back these leaves. Shit, our Chardonnay has dropped down considerably. I need to get these leaves trimmed. It's coming up on summer, so we're going to want them trimmed back as far as I can go. Plus, they've got that fungal rot to worry about, which is a shame. I'm actually going to trim those too. Cloudy summer. Let's uh, don't forget to take a look at our wine here. Four seven four five. That doesn't sound good. Well, we had a four six four five that was gave us a four star rating last time. Let's bottle it up. So yeah, it's gonna lose one star, unfortunately. But we could still get a three or four star wine out of it. So I'm sorry, Stamper Cat. Call it the Stamper Cat Dregs. Sorry, you're getting assigned to this cruddy wine that nobody's going to want to drink. I won't bother putting a cork on it. And we're not going to call in any good reviewers. We'll see what uh, what these dum-dums think. Blah, two stars. Yikes. Sorry, Stamper Cat. We are not going to try to sell that stuff. Uh, so it would have been three stars, which would have been reasonable. But not... Not uh, two stars. No, thank you. We're not going to hurt our reputation. All right. We got clear skies. We've got stuff ripening up. Just what I want to see. Maybe not too ripe, but it's too bad you can't harvest one type of grape and not another. But we're going to go ahead and harvest as soon as we hit September here because they're pretty ripe now. All right. Go. Nine and seven should be good. I like that for our Chardonnay. That's fine for our Syrah. It always seems to be about the same. Maybe not quite as... Um, okay, yeah, it is about the same. Interesting. All right. Uh, smash those grapes. I crush your grapes. Terrible Kids in the Hall reference there. Not, not very good. I don't know. Oh, wait. Syrah. I got to uh, do that Syrah. Uh, wait. What? Why did it restart the crushing thing? That was weird. All right. Okay. So, uh, decrease the sweetness by one. I do want to decrease sweetness for our um, Chardonnay. Should be fine. As for our Syrah, a six sweetness is perfect. So we'll do that. Looks like we got rid of those fruit flies. Our Renown is still not 
That's where we're really suffering is on the renown front. I don't think there's anything I can do to increase our renown. Other than like try to release good wines. I probably need like a string of five star wines or something to really get uh, to really get that renown to go up uh, regularly. All right, so Syrah, I want to increase it by one. Um, mm -hmm. I want to get to six six seven six. So I'm going to want to drop that by two. So I want to increase that by to seven. That would drop it to six, and this would drop to seven. All right, so that should be good for that one. For the Chardonnay, we have a seven sweetness, so six, seven, five, six would be a five star. Six, seven, five. So I want to drop this by four, which means I'd want to drop this by two, which means I want to increase it by one. All right, you should be good. And then we'll have to kind of monitor the aging pretty carefully here. All right, um, so. All right, let's do it. It's November, let's check back in December. We're gonna have to keep a close eye on this aging. It's already December. I don't think they've really actually aged any. All right, uh, this Syrah is 6676, perfect. So um, that is going to be the MWCH Memorial Wine 2037. And we'll put a cork on it because it's going to be beautiful. So, so delicious. Everyone's going to love it. Bottle that up. Go to our bottles. Organize tasting. Get nothing but the finest tasters. Oh, look at that. A four star taster. Uh, we got to keep Kramer around. And Oscar, he's got a cool name. Look at that face, though. All right. Let's see what uh, Toma Takahashi has to say about this wine. Oh, he says four and a half stars. Thank you, Toma. We are going to call that beautiful five star rating. I love it. Sell. So we're making good progress on getting these guys onto our side. And I want to see what the special ability is for Manhattan sellers. There we go. So you'll be able to sell 100% of your bottles to Huang. Huagang. That's not bad. Um, so if I can sell 100% to this guy every time, I could sell 50% of the other variety to these guys. It's going to be tricky when I get to three varieties. So this one, I think, will give you a boost in price. But that's pretty good. Look at that, $150. That must also be related to the distributor relations. So we're going to make a lot of money off of this. And um, this one, we want to go for a little bit longer. We're going for 6756 if we can. 5756 would get us a... Uh, a uh, good uh, result as well but let's uh, let's check back in January see how it looks almost there January come on there we are all right six seven six six. I'm gonna well I wonder if like a half a month will make a difference it's kind of hard to tell when it's a half a month but if it goes down two stars a month maybe it goes down no all right let's just go with six seven six six I don't know how this is gonna turn out but we're gonna go with the Robert Gelderen. Wow. 
white. 2038. Put a cork on it because I'm feeling good about the whole thing. Organized tasting. We'll go with the we'll go with the mid range tasters since I don't know exactly how this is going to turn out. Oh, look at that! Five stars. Beautiful. Nice job. So six seven six six gives us five stars with two star reviewers. Okay. Let's sell that. So they're still waiting to sell. So we will drop five seventy six on these guys. And uh, then we're going to have to come back to see if we can sell more. All right. Um, close that down. Our renown is up to 21, which is nice. But at this rate, it's going to take us a very, very long time to get our renown up to 100. Too bad you can't, like, buy renown. Yeah. We had a lot of renown earlier. We had uh, 35 when I bought the... Uh, various um, uh, the, the research we spent it all on that research unfortunately but now we've got a ton of cash but we can't uh, can't do anything with it oh suddenly I'm not um, high enough ranking for you anymore how would I keep it at how would I keep it at level five? if it drops before I get a chance to sell to him again. Should, uh... As a matter of fact, sorry, I'm gonna... Let's see, so we have the the uh, distributor relations. Five star. And uh, prestige, or renown. Alright, I'm gonna uh, uh, send an email to the developers and kind of Maybe the balance isn't quite quite where it should be on this. I mean, I feel like we should have more renown than we do, considering how much we got during the first couple of years. Uh, it has been very hard to build up renown, but we have a ton of cash. And, um, you know, we're, we're kind of, we can't keep growing with the, uh, the way things are set up right now because... Um, uh, we um, I can't see what the sales stuff looks like uh, for, uh, but anyways, the you get what I'm saying. Like we can't continue growing because we need a better we need a better. Um, we're gonna run out of room. We don't have enough room to store all of our wine. Um, if we had even one more field, we wouldn't have enough room to store it all. Uh, but we can't. Like we're stagnant right now. There's not really much else we can do. I mean, I guess we could just buy up land and not plant on it or something. But that doesn't seem like a very good plan. But I don't know if you heard that timer going off. But the timer means that we've come to the end of the episode. I'm going to uh, do some more bug killing here real quick. Boy, we got a lot of... Uh, a lot of stuff going on at once on our uh, on our plants. And now we've got rot. Boy, oh boy, what a time to uh, what a time to end the episode, huh? We got stuff that's not going to be ripe enough. I think I'm going to uh, wait till we get this a little more under control. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have been enjoying this series. I'm pretty sure you guys are, considering how many people are watching this. Uh, it's very, uh, very flattering to know that people are enjoying this as much as they are. Um, so thanks. Keep leaving those comments. I will keep naming wines after you. And uh, I hope you will join us again for the next episode, which will be up tomorrow. I'll see you then. Thanks, everybody. Bye.